Hello and welcome back. So this is part 12 in my series of making my cosplay of Ashman. In this part I'm going to be painting bracers. I have one of them done already. This is the right one. And I'm about to do the left one here. So I just want to do a quick little look at this one. Before we time lapse painting this guy over here. So I primed, like I do, like I am all of the armor pieces for this, with black Plasti Dip. Grab that real quick. So priming with this. When I'm totally done, I'm sealing with the clear matte varnish. So once I'm completely done painting, I will give it a coat of this. I might have a bit of a glare. And I will link these in the description. So after the plastic tip was on, I gave it a couple days to kind of hang out and dry. Um, I think technically, well, not necessarily for painting over, but it does say, so plastic tip's meant for cars, and it says that you can use your car after four hours of spraying it. So I assume you can paint it after four hours, but I don't know. I did wait a few days though. And then I used a spray paint. And I used this one. It's brown. It's the hammered texture. So I don't know if you can kind of see the cap here. It does has a little bit of texture in it. That's where I'm at at this point. The plastic strip's done, and the spray paint is done. Um, I did three layers or three coats of plastic dip, and then I did three coats of the spray paint. I just did the spray paint yesterday, so we're good to move on to acrylics. So all the rest of the painting is in acrylics. But I wanted this brown base because I'm going to paint this for the most part with a chip brush. I'm just using these little cheap throwaway ones. Mostly because that's all I could find at the store I happened to be at when I was getting the spray paint. But yeah, I'm just using that. Um, so if you look, I don't know if it's going to pick up in the video. But by using that, it kind of just like a scratchy finish and you can see the brown just slightly come through. And it kind of warms up that silver a little bit. So yeah, let's get to doing the acrylics. Um, this will be all in one video, but I'll be doing this in multiple sittings since during different parts I let it dry before I move on to painting again. And you'll see. It should all blend together as one thing other than our lighting might be changing as the day goes on. It is evening now, so the sun's starting to go down. But I do have lights, so we'll make it work. Okay, so the painting for this, minus the details, is very similar to how I painted the mask. I wanted the silvers to match. Um, I just do some black detailing that's a little bit, that's the different painting that I do. So I do start out with um, a good bit of black mixed into that silver color. Same paints that I used for the mask, I will have them linked below, um, to kind of get that uh, gunmetal grayish silver color. So I'm just doing that all over with the chip brush, that way the brown's pulling out from underneath. So I'm doing all that real quick, making sure I get all the gaps and all that. And I'm kind of mixing it as I go because I only have that small tube of silver and I'm trying to make it last. It was a little more expensive than paint I usually use, but it's definitely worth it. It's very metallic and it has so much shine to it, it's awesome. So here, um, I think I'm using a slightly more silver here. Uh, slightly less black. I'm going over it and I just keep adding less, more silver and less black as I go. So another coat here with a little more silver. Still some black in there. And here I'm just using my detail little paintbrush to clean out the little gaps for the little swirly designs. Because it does gather in there. Keep those real clean and crisp. And over again, the only thing I did different in these is on my mask, I did at one point mix some gold with the silver to add warmth. I did not do that with the bracers. And now we're looking more silver than brown, but you can see some of that brown shining through there. And when I rotate it here with the light, you can see um, how much metallic is in there. So in certain lighting, it looks quite dark and it won't sound like that. But I just want to see like it's the um, paint and when I do spray varnish, but it does not sound there perfectly well. It's fine though. But you can see it really shines in the light it looks very bright and dark it looks darker so that's where we're at of course this, it's with this coat um, I'm gonna keep adding lighter and lighter but I just kind of want some layers in there 
which is why I'm using that chip brushes because it's going to show through. Um, you probably can't see, maybe you can, but since I'm using that, you can see the brown through it, which is really neat. So this is where we are right now. And I know I mentioned that I use the Plasti Dip as a primer, the hammered brown spray paint as a base coat, and then I said I used acrylics, and then I showed the matte varnish, but I didn't say what acrylics. I'm only using two. I'm just using this cheap black uh, matte. I meant to use glossy, but I'm using matte, and it's not bothering anything. To make my silver into different shades, and this is the silver I'm using. I got this off Amazon. I'm probably going to have to get more before I do my bracers. Or not my bracers. Doing the bracers. Before I do the shoulder pieces. Um, and then leg armor and such as well that I haven't started. But this is super metallic. It's pretty awesome. But yeah, I'm just mixing that with the black to get those different shades of the silver. And even in here, it's not just black. I take the black and I add just a little bit of that silver in there. So it's kind of like a, a light black. It has a little bit, not too much of a shine to it, but it's not as matte. So if I used a glossy instead of a matte black, that would have helped. But I'm working with whatever I ended up getting. And then around here, where I did my highlight, I used just the silver. So even this silver here, it still has a little bit of black mixed into it, but not as much as we have here. So next I'm going to go with the mixture I have right now. I'm going to add more silver to get another coat on here. And then we should be about right before I start doing highlights in these darker bits. I also decided to go around here with the, this uh, black as well, mixed with this silver a little bit. Just around here and here. Um, I thought about doing it under here and up here around the edges, but I thought that would be a little too much, so I decided not to. So, we'll keep going. So I did lose one of my clips. Um, so I didn't record where I did that last bit of silver. <clears throat> well, I got part of it here, but I didn't get the rest of it. So then I started going in with my black here. I did a few different layers of it because I didn't let it dry all the way, so the silver was mixing into it. So I did a few layers to get the right shade of black I wanted, and then I dry brushed silver for all my highlights. So I did it um, according to the reference photos, where the shine was showing. It kind of had a hammering look, but I didn't do that texture on my film work. Um, and then around all the edges, because I wanted it to kind of pop. So I'd put a little silver around there, draw off my brush, and just kind of scrub with my brush to get it blended out really well. I think that's what I'm doing here a little bit, you can see. Um, but unfortunately, I just sort of my clips didn't work out right like I don't know like I ended the video and then it didn't save for some reason so I don't think it's like all of it at least I think it's just part of it but yeah here you can see I'm doing the dry brushing for the silver I put it on there clip off my brush and then scrub the brush once pretty much dry okay so here we are um getting a lot of shadows where it's so dark now but this just seems to dry now so I can spray the varnish on it so tomorrow I'll spray the varnish also with just plain black without any mixed in, I'll be painting back in here black. Um, like I did on this one. Just in case you can see that a little bit. You can see it a little bit while I'm wearing it, but not too much. So I don't want any like funkiness like we got going on back here right now. So I'll do that and then varnish. And that's it. But I think they're looking pretty similar. This one, the one I just did is looking a little shinier. But that's just because this has the matte varnish on it. And this one doesn't, so that should tone it down closer to what this is. And typically with metal, you would probably want it to stay that way. However, this character has, like, really dingy metal. Like, at first I thought her armor was made out of, like, rock or something. And I wasn't even sure if it was metal or not until I started noticing, like, these little highlighted spots. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, my metal. So I didn't want it to be really shiny, but I still wanted it to look like metal, which is why I did the metallic anyway. So it does have some shine, like I showed earlier, which I really like, um, but it's not super shiny like this one that I just did. So once I do that varnish tomorrow, these should be looking the same level of shininess. Um, I also, off camera, touched up where I accidentally got the highlight into these black spots. And then I also 
do the little like trend of the black around the edges and the bottom and top like I did on this one that up in there and down here just in a line and then I kind of cleaned up the edges a little bit because I got black on the silver so I fixed that um, but yeah I'm really happy with how that turned out I said just gotta wait for it to dry and then tomorrow I will spray the varnish and then let that dry and then these will be done and I'll go over the back with black after it's dry too because um, so I didn't have to clean up the edges when I did it to the other one so I'm gonna wait to do that but yeah so these are done now and I think next I'll probably be doing these shoulders I've started the shoulders um it's gonna be a very long process so I don't know if I'll have it done before I do something else, necessarily. Um, I'm also thinking about doing, since we are pretty much at the 50% mark, almost, um, I forget if that includes the shoulders or not, but we are about at the 50% mark, almost. So I'm thinking about doing like a try-on video, where I try on all the pieces that are done so far, because I do have... The skirt, the belt, the bags, the half mask, the cow is basically done, and I didn't do a video on that anyway, so I'd like to show it. And then the bracers are done. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six types of items, I'm not counting these individually. Um, oh, and then I started the ears. These guys aren't painted yet, so they're not a headband or anything yet. I'm still waiting until I do, until I get the body paint, but I still haven't decided on the color yet, so that'll probably be a while. But yeah, so the next video might be me wearing what is done so far as a little trial bit, or it might be, try to grab these pieces right now, or it might be getting these guys all put together, sanded, and ready for plastic up. I'm going to try to line up the pieces with one thing, that's hard to do. But yeah, it ends up looking a shadow going. Something like this. So I ended up deciding to uh, do the little bevel type deal in the center. It's kind of on the fence about it because in the game it looks like it's like that, but when you look at it from the other sides, it, sides, it is flat, which works out on the panther shoulders, but on my shoulders it looked awkward being flat, so I added just enough curve that kind of went around my shoulder a little bit. So, and then these guys don't really have it too much. There's like a little bit going on, and then this guy, not at all. That, yeah, I think I am pretty much ready to start gluing these pieces together. But this is the one, the side that I haven't recorded doing. I was getting this side together, but then once I get it all figured out, I'm going to record doing the other one. But I think that'll be neat, and this will have the LEDs in there too. So yeah, next video, probably either the shoulders or trying everything on, or if I decide I want to work on something else, I've been thinking about doing the breastplate or gauntlets too, so we'll see. Next part of supplies is a surprise I don't have planned out yet. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. You can find links below to watch the rest of the videos I've done so far making this, or to my Instagram where I do like my anytime I'm working on this, like in between videos. Um, I share on Instagram, along with cat pictures and my favorite pictures and such. And I think that's it. Oh, and I'll put links to everything below. I forget if I showed this yet, but it's the silver I used. So, yeah. I'll link all that below. Thank you so much for watching.